This afternoon, we're going to show how we can import data into Holbase and then migrate that data from Holbase to Open Ground once it has been processed. So you first have to use your Rapid CPT processor, which, as you just saw, should be available on your Start menu, assuming you have the latest version of Rapid CPT from Data Forensics. So you have to log in to Data Forensics Cloud, and then we can process our data. So we're going to put all of our data into um, this CPT demo folder. So we want to store that. Click OK. And with the Rapid CPT processor, just like the one in Ghent, we can actually process multiple file types at the same time, so dissipation data uh, as well as CPT data from multiple manufacturers, multiple file formats, whatever it is that you're going to choose, Excel as well. Bring it all in together all at the same time. So send all the files to the Rapid CPT processor, and now you see we have this zip file that we're going to use for importing into Holbase. So if I start up Holbase and I go to my, I already have a project open that I'm going to import my data into. So I'm going to import my CSV. And I want to make sure I'm using my Rapid CPT mapping into Holbase. So if I go to that CPT demo folder and I go to my zip file, it's important that you change your files to zip down here. And we want to choose this hbsi.zip, which is what just got created this afternoon. So I start working my way through the wizard. Everything should be valid. Green is good. Um, should be no warnings or errors. If it's a warning, not critical. If it's an error, yes, probably pretty important. It's going to prevent you from importing the data. So I've got my three soundings. If you're using northern and eastern coordinates, you can import those and use that as the basis. Or if you have the latitude and longitude, it'll ask you for those, depending on what you have. In that case, it has northern and eastern, so we're going to use those as the basis for our coordinates. It's important that when you are setting up your project in the first place in, in Holbase, that you actually do use the correct state plane zone or UTM zone for processing your data, because it's going to do the coordinate conversion for you. So here we see we've got the three soundings that we're importing, uh, 870 depth-related records and over 10,000 dissipation records. So we'll finish that off. And now we will see that it's just about to finish off the wizard, and it's imported our data. Okay, so here's the big difference between what would have happened in Ghent and what happens in Holbase. So in Holbase, it has imported all the data, but it hasn't done any processing of it yet. If we go to our CPT analysis con configuration, which um, you have all these capabilities of changing where you want the drain threshold soil behavior type, which one you want to use, the min drain threshold zone, the max drain threshold zones, and use NKTs, NCs, whatever it happens to be. Fees used in OCRs and K-naughts and different correlations. So you've got all these capabilities you can specify. You also obviously have the ability to come in and you can change your your data for, you know, what what does my density profile look like? You see there's no data in here currently. But you could come in and you could specify um, where you want different uh, assumed density values to be utilized. So you're going to specify all of the setup for your analysis first. And once you have finished that in the CPT data table, you just click Run Plugins. So what that's going to do is it's going to read all of the settings that you've specified for what data you have specified in your analysis. And then you see it will then do all the calculations, just like it always does. OK, so that's great. So we've got all this data. And then everything you know about whole base or open ground with respect to reporting applies. So if I do a quick log, I can do a quick log and choose what do I want. Let's do my uh, standard SBTFR normalized strip set. And we've got 30 feet per page. That looks great. It's on letter and it's landscape. So there you see our quick log. Fantastic. Now we could do the same thing with a log report. Um, and you can report your data in Holbase 
You can use the Excel extension for doing Excel extension reports or other analysis that you want to use. And at the end of the day, once you have finished processing your data, you're happy with all the correlations, you're happy with your analysis, that's when you're ready to upload that to Open Ground Cloud. You go to your data menu and choose export data. So we want to export data for all tables in this particular project. So we're going to choose the CSV file format. And now we're going to say we want to export this file here, internal number four. So we're going to choose all three soundings. It's going to tell us all the data that's going to export for, which should be the things that we just imported the data for a few minutes ago. So our CPT data, our pore pressure dissipation data, our location data, and the CPT analysis configuration properties. Fantastic. That was easy. We've gotten that exported from Holbase. So I'm going to close out Holbase because I don't need that anymore. And I'm going to open up Open Ground Cloud. So I have created a new project in Open Ground Cloud, just like I always would in either Holbase or Open Ground. And now I'm going to import that data. So let's choose the import data. And in this case, we're going to use a CSV file format. Now, we don't want to use our default CSV mapping, but we should have a rapid CPT whole base mapping. So that should be easy enough. Choose that mapping, and then go find that internal zip file number four. OK, so we choose that zip file. That has all of our process data in it, all our correlations. And now we're ready to get that to the cloud so we can use it with all of our other data for these projects, borehole data, laboratory testing data, so we can combine it all into one. OK, we've got some uh, a few warnings that I'm not too worried about. Some of those are bogus. Um, one of them is a calculated field for that top one. So no big deal there. It's going to depend on your exact data structure in open ground, what you're going to get there. Um, we've got the three CPT soundings. Looks great. There's all the different tables we're bringing in data for. And now we are ready to kick off processing of the import. So it's launched that, and it's, you see, going through. It's going to tell us all the data that we have to import. It's going to look remarkably similar to what we just saw in whole base a minute ago. There we have our three soundings, 870 records that are depth-related records, and 10,144 dissipation records. And that's now bringing that data in to open ground. So going through, just about to finish that wizard right about now, I think. And it is now finished. OK, so now everything that we saw in whole base has now been loaded to open ground. Basically the same interface, so if you know how to use one, you can use the other. And if you've set up your report profiles and you want to generate your reports here, you can do exactly the same thing. So I'll do my log report, how we can plot our standard CPT report for each of the soundings, immediately followed by the strength-based CPT report for each of the soundings. So this cloud is just about finished processing. There we go. We got our first page that had our standard report, and then the second page has our strength-based report. Repeats that for each of the different CPT soundings, C6, C5, C10. Yeah. So that's how you can get your data from whole base to Open Ground Cloud and still generate the same reports that you have in whole base in Open Ground Cloud.